to the mixed verdict today in the trials of Paul Flores and his father Ruben in connection with the 1996 murder of Stockton native Kristen Smart. For the main charge of first degree murder, a jury found Paul guilty more than two decades after the crime. On the lesser offense of covering up the crime, a separate jury found Paul's father Ruben Flores not guilty of helping his son hide the body. KCRA3's Lizzie Mitri joins us live now from Monterey County with reactions to both of these verdicts. Edie, this has been a long time coming. The trials in both cases started here in Monterey County Court three months ago, and it's been more than two decades since Kristen Smart went missing. Today, we heard from her father, who read a statement a few hours after learning about the verdicts. After 26 years with today's split verdicts, we learned that our quest for justice for Kristen will continue. This has been an agonizingly long journey with more downs than ups, but we are grateful and appreciate the diligence and energy of the two juries to thoroughly review the facts and reach their decisions. Our faith in the justice system has been renewed by their commitment and effort. 19-year-old Kristen was a freshman at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo when she went missing in 1996. Paul Flores was also a student there, and prosecutors say he killed Kristen in his dorm room while trying to rape her after an off-campus house party on Memorial Day weekend more than 26 years ago. His father, Ruben Flores, was charged with being an accessory after the fact, helping hide Kristen's body, which was never found. Today, a jury decided Ruben was not guilty, and as he left the courtroom, he told us he was relieved. He'll no longer be on an ankle monitor, but he said for those convinced of his family's guilt, he doesn't think this will change anything. Tomorrow they'll be probably going by Susan Southern blowing a horn or they'll be driving by my house, you know, just people, you know, they, they believe everything they read and everything they hear or, you know, uh, me, I got a flip phone. I don't listen to none of that stuff, you know. In the case of his son, he believes that the jury made a decision based on feelings, not facts. Paul faces 25 years to life in prison. He'll find out what that sentence is here at the courthouse on December 9th. Live in Salinas, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. So, Lizay, what happens after that sentencing? Is this case essentially over now? Well, Paul's attorney will have the opportunity if he decides to appeal and try to make a motion for a new trial, which is expected. And then we also heard from the San Luis Obispo County uh, Sheriff today, and he specifically said, no, this case is not over. We know that Kristen's body has never been found. And he said uh, this case is not over until she has be been returned home. And he's committed to making sure that that happens getting that final answer. Lizay, thank you. Well,